Hello everyone, welcome to Gradual Learning. I hope you all are good and doing well. Before starting the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you have not subscribed and press the bell icon. Please do like and share the video. Follow us on Telegram. The Tree by KK N. Daruwala. Let's talk about the poet first. KK N. Daruwala is an Indian poet and writer. He started his career as an IPS officer but later he shifted to the writing. He started writing poems and short stories. He was awarded by Sahitya Academy Award in the year 1984 for his beautiful collections of poems. Some of his best works are Under Orion, Crossing of Rivers, Routine, The Keeper of the Dead, Landscapes, A Summer of the Tigers and The Minister for Permanent Unrest and some other works are also there. Now let's start with the poem. The poem is all about a tree, specifically it's a Gulmoha tree. So the poem starts like, Next to the track beside our house that planted a Gulmoha, we tended it, we watered it. It wanted more and more. So he's giving a scenario that there is a house, they have a house and next to their house there is a track. Track is a path. Beside their house they have a track, they have a path and there his dad, the poet's the dad or we can say the speaker's father has has planted a gulmoha tree as you can see on the screen gulmoha tree this this is a picture of gulmoha tree it is red and orange in color we tended it tended means to take a lot of care we tended it we watered it so both the father and the son they took a lot of care of this tree it was just like a baby for them like your mother take care of you your parents take care of you Right, so the same way they both took care of this tree. They watered it every day. We know that plants need water to grow, so they watered this plant every day. So as the days were passing, the tree started growing more and more. And when it started growing more and more, it wanted more care and more water. The way as we need. Like when we start growing, we need more food, we need more water to enhance energy, right? the same way the requirements of this plant was increasing day by day now let's come to the second stanza when first its little shoots of green spread across the boughs and some of us said wow the, its branches were so low we drove the coats away and cows so here in the second stanza the speaker says that when first its little shoots of green means when this tree started growing so initially when you have a sapling the tree starts growing and the stem is very weak right at the same time the branches are also very low okay so here in the second line you will see it is written bow so bow means branches so here he says that in initially when it started to grow the shoot the stem of the tree was green in color and it started to spread its branches from the shoot the branches come out the same way now the shoot has come out it is in green color and the branches are also popping out from that shoot and some of us said wow looking at the beauty of the tree everyone was very excited everyone was very happy and they said wow it's beautiful like if you have seen a small child when a small child starts growing he or she starts doing various activities we get excited and we say wow its branches were so low we drove the goats away and cows so here the poet says the speaker says that the branches were so low because it was a very small tree initially it was a very small plant so the branches were very low very near to the ground and that's why the cows and goats we know that cows and goats are herbivorous animals and they come and they eat all these herbs they eat all the leaves of the plant so that to save the leaves the branches of the plant from being eaten by the cow and the goat so what they do they used to take a lot of care so that no goat or no cow comes near coming to stanza three it really kept us on our toes a baby tree needs care kept us on our toes yeah and it means to be very busy working very hard right so the speaker says so the speaker says that this tree kept us on our toes we were all day busy we were all day working we were all day busy in taking care of this tree just like a small baby we just took care of it like a little baby 
next year the green fast changed to leaf so initially the plant was very small so it does not have organized structure right the parts of the plant was not so organized but within a span of year after one year the tree started taking its proper shape it turned into a red roof tree a thing of beauty rare so as we know that gulmohar has reddish orange shade poet says that after a year when it started to take its proper its proper shape the top part the top part the roof part here he has used the word here red roofed means the top part of the tree started changing into red color so that is it is growing into a perfect adult gulmohar tree and it is a thing of beauty rare so it is a it was a very beautiful scenario a plant grow from seeds to sapling then a plant and then a tree a perfect adult gulmohar tree fourth let's come to the fourth stanza it spoke to us of course it just spoke to the winds we know that trees cannot speak to us right they don't speak but yes it spoke to the winds because it waves you must have noticed that whenever wind is flowing so the tree and its branches and its leaves they starts moving so the speaker says that as the wind moves you start chattering you start talking to the winds because you start moving your parts and now and then wave to the sky and you you wave yourself in front of the sky you wave hello you say hello or you wave in front of the sky but it gave us everything so here this line here he says that yes you don't talk to us you don't wave your self to us but yes you have given us everything coming to the very last part the very last stanza it's falling flowers and its shade they covered half the track it sheltered us from sun and rain the tree had paid us back it's falling flowers and its shade they covered half the track here the poet says that when the flowers used to fall from that tree it used to cover half of the track and had gained enormous size it covers almost half of the track so the half of the track is being covered by the falling flowers and the shade of the tree in the last two line the poet says it sheltered us from sun and rain so this tree has sheltered has protected the family from sun and rain the tree had paid us back and the tree had paid them back paid us back means whatever they have done to the tree when it was very small right they took a lot of care they tended it they watered it right they took did everything they were on their toes they were taking care of that tree just like a baby and now when this tree has fully grown up it is taking care of the family of the poet or we can say the speaker here i would like to mention one thing like the way our parents are taking care of us right now as we are very small but when we will grow up it's our turn to pay it back by giving the same respect the same love the same affection to our parents so i hope you all must have understood the poem thank you